Greetings, mortals, and welcome back to Congo. Alright, so when last we left off, we were doing a charity stream for uh, to raise money for the Bail Project, and we are doing that again today. We're going to be doing that for the rest of the month. Hopefully, we'll start being more successful with that. I want to do some punishments. Uh, but beyond that, uh, let's see. So the Bail Project is a... Uh, is a charity whose purpose is to raise bail for people. So uh, bail is sort of a weird institution in America. There's a lot of weird... I, I say weird, but they're not really that weird. There's a lot of institutions in America that are basically designed to criminalize poverty. Um, and bail is basically one of them. So the concept of cash bail is one that kind of makes sense uh, on its face. It's the concept that basically you give some money to the state to hold on to so that you actually come back for your court date that's the purpose of bail but unfortunately that's a that bond only works if people actually pay their bail um so despite the fact that there are uh penalties in place well there's anyways there's statutes in place that indicate that uh excessive bail is illegal uh, America can't seem to decide on what that it actually means in any meaningful context. So what that ends up meaning is that really wealthy people end up paying an amount of money that they're perfectly comfortable walking away from, and poor people can't pay the bail, so they just they just sit in prison. And that's what ends up happening with uh, bail. So the Bail Project serves to basically try to eliminate the concept of bail completely by just paying people's bail. Um, what ends up happening is they are actively trying to get people to show up to their court date, where, whereas the state itself is actually trying to prevent people from showing up to their court dates uh, by basically filling up the system with bullshit so that it's harder for people to make their court dates and get their bail back and to defend themselves in court because it turns out this is weird, but the prosecutorial state that literally enslaves people who, is in, who are in prison, um, which, fun fact, 13th Amendment has a specific statute in it that indicates that it does not apply to people that are in prison. Prisoners can be enslaved, and they regularly are in America. So, welcome to my country. <laughs> We like slavery. We never really got over the whole thing. So, um, so anyway, so the basic gist with bail is that it has quite a few different problems with it. The first is that it doesn't really serve its function if people if excessive bail is being posted. Because if ex if excessive bail is being posted, then you're just leaving people in prison, and leaving people in prison should be something that costs the community money. Um, putting people in prison is something that should be a financial hardship for the community because if it makes money for the community, uh, that incentivizes them to enslave people. Uh, so I'm all about thinking about systemic like consequences and things of that nature. Communities have a vested interest in putting people in prison for as long as possible and to maximize the prison populations, which is why the prison population has dramatically escalated in America, despite the fact that the crime rate has dropped dramatically. It isn't because catch rates are higher. It's because a lot the, the pretty much the entirety of the growth comes from pre-trial detainees, which means that these are innocent people that are sitting in prisons. And the reason that they do this is, of course, because... Uh, they can literally enslave people that they put in prison. So all very fun, very fun stuff. Um, so anyway, by paying people's bail, you get them out of prison, which is very good. Uh, but the other thing about bail that's important to understand is that people who cannot afford to pay bail cannot afford to sit in prison until their court date. Um, you, you simply cannot sit in prison waiting to finish your fucking trial that could take years, um, because you're going to go bankrupt because you have debts, because you're American, you must have debts. All Americans have debts. So what ends up happening is the, uh, the government says, Hey, you know, you claim that you're innocent. All you have to do is claim that you're guilty and we'll let you go free. 
and you only have to pay with, you know, your right to vote. And maybe we'll enslave you for two months instead of enslaving you for the next two years. You know, you make the choice. Um, and basically, the, the mentality that the system is fundamentally corrupt and that they are going to get a guilty... They're going to declare you guilty even if you're innocent... Um, actually works against people as well because if someone believes that the, the, the government doesn't actually have to prove that they're guilty and that as an innocent person there's a very high chance that they're going to prison, um, they're even more likely to uh, put in a false confession. And then, to add even more insult to injury, you have these people who were put in prison because someone somewhere thought they might have committed a crime and that someone happened to be a cop um and so they're put in prison and then they're forced to confess because they're poor and now they can't vote because they are they are now guilty of a felony so congratulations, you have just successfully disenfranchised someone for the specific, like, reason that they're too poor to sit in prison. And you probably targeted them in the first place because they were black. They got targeted because they were black. They weren't able to get out of prison because they were poor. And so poor black people are particularly punished by this system but bear in mind that it's not the the bail system itself is well i hate to say that i sorry, sorry i hesitate to say that it's not inherently biased toward black people um and people of color generally because the judge gets to set the bail so the judge gets to set what they think is a reasonable bail and if they think that someone looks like a thug or a hooligan who's going to be dangerous, which is to say if that person is black, if the person is black, then they're going to have a higher bail set for them because they are. And they're more likely to not get any bail set at all, uh, things of that nature. So the, the system is inherently biased against them as well because of the inherent biases of the people involved in the system. But... The bail system, in terms of the way that the, the, finance, the finances work, from a practical perspective, if you're a poor white person, you could be basically saddled with a felony just as easily as a poor black person can be. Bear in mind, it's not you're at much lower risk, much lower risk, but not certainly non-zero, and it also depends on region, because as I talked about in a previous video... If the local cops don't have any black people around to per persecute, they're going to pick on the poor whites. They're going to pick some disenfranchised, impoverished group to attack. And sometimes they get unlucky and they target a black person who is not impoverished. But they think that that person is, is poor and that they think that that person is weak and doesn't have any sort of clout in society to protect themselves. And that's why they target them, right? They aren't targeting them. Well, <clears throat> some of them are targeting them explicitly because of racist reasons. But racism is more systemic than it is anything else. It's a matter of systems. And by systematically making it so that to our system, black lives don't matter... Right, what that means in <clears throat> in like practice is because we've now decided as a society that black lives don't matter, cops just fucking murder them because they can and they want to murder somebody. Right? Even if the cop isn't explicitly a white nationalist or a racist, they're still gonna kill the black guy. So let's say you have some ran like some cop who's just a fucking murderer. Okay, they're just a murderer. They just want to kill someone. That's their dream. You think they're going to target a white guy? If they target a white guy, there's the risk that they get fucking in trouble. In trouble, shall we say. If you target a black person, you are much safer. So even cops who are not actually racists are still going to engage in racist behavior. Racism is not 
a mental state. It's a system that we have built that creates the inevitable consequence of persecution of black people. That is the inevitable conse consequence of it. When you have s sexist systems, sexist systems cause the inevitable persecution of women. So here's, here's an interesting example, actually, that I, I'm just going to talk about from like a, just a practical perspective is something that I think is kind of interesting. So if you think about um, f paid family leave versus paid maternity leave, which is specific to women. If you give paid maternity leave and you give no family leave, what you are doing is that you are legally mandating that the woman take care of the child, okay? Now, obviously, she just went through a physically demanding thing. So that's, you know, she, the, the man hasn't done anything yet. So, but the, so it's easy to say, oh, well, she needs it more. But here's the problem. When you give paid maternity leave, what does that say to employers? Well, now I have to pay maternity leave, so if this woman gets pregnant, she's just going to disappear off the map for three months because her, her husband is not going to do shit because he literally can't. And so this, if this woman gets pregnant, then we've just lost our HR manager. So I don't want to hire a woman to be in this position because we can't afford to lose her for three months. If you instead have policies and laws in place that are equitable, then what ends up happening, and by the way, it's illegal to discriminate against women for the possibility of becoming pregnant, but it's impossible, absolutely impossible to regulate for that in a way that's meaningful. There's no way you're going to fucking catch someone on that, okay? It's just not reasonable. That's, that's a non-issue in terms of, like, if I, if I want to you know, not hire women because I'm afraid that they're going to get pregnant. There's nothing that the government's going to do to stop me. It's just, they're just not. You would have to be really fucking blatant about it. So anyway, so what you end up with is if you instead have an equitable system where men and women are an equal risk of getting getting pregnant so to speak if men and women are both an equal risk in that regard because they both have the same amount of per paid parental leave then all of a sudden first of all the men get a benefit because they actually get to take care of their kids and they actually get the paid leave which is very very valuable for, for their family unit and for them personally so the men get a benefit but the women also get the benefit of the fact that now all of a sudden their partners can help them out but even if you're just talking about single people, ignoring the people who are directly affected by it from a systemic level, what that ends up resulting in is single women of marriageable age are no longer as risky relative to a single man of marriageable age. Or a married woman who is not intending to have children versus a man who's not intending to have children. The company doesn't care if the man has children. The company cares if the woman has children. These are the problems with sort of systemic biases and systemic, basically, rules in place that fuck over specific people. So, racism is systemic. Bail Project is good. Bail Project basically removes a system that persecutes poor people. So, Bail Project links are down below. If you want to donate, you can just flat out donate. Or, if you prefer... There are uh, all sorts of prizes on hand to be obtained for those who wish to either torture me or get things from it. So that is what we are doing today. So give me a second to tinker with my stuff so that I can actually put all this business in place. Okay, there we go. I have a tiny screen here because I still haven't gotten the, the thing has not come in the mail yet. So anyway, uh, so in in our run, we are doing a world conquest of uh, excuse me, a world conquest with Congo. So we last time claimed that we were going to take Cornwall. Uh, we did not end up doing it yet. Uh, we just took a bunch of other stuff instead. So we've got Northumberland, and we've got Wales. And this time we are going to try to go in uh, to conquer some more. We're just going to let our claims get created by our vassal here. 
and move on with our life. So first things first, we are going to move this army. This, not this army, sorry. We're going to leave the army here. We're going to move this fleet. And I think we're going to pick up this army. Because I have like 20,000 troops down here. Which is frankly an excessive amount of troops for anything that I'm going to need any time in the near future. So, we have a few things that we want to do right now. We want to declare on Kilwa. And we want to declare on Guamar. Uh, we want both of those places integrated in. Give me just a second to check my notepad thing that I actually do still hope, have open, so I'm going to go ahead and read this. I'm just going to read this out loud for us. So goal is to keep expanding in as efficient a manner as possible. We need to annex the Central African territory. The vassals there are old and have massively stacked annexation balances that will never deteriorate meaningfully. That's fine. Um, I'm not planning on actually annexing them that fast because uh, I'm planning on just sitting. I'm not planning on making any new vassals for a while, so I'm just going to sit on that for a little bit. So Castile is almost 6,000 Ducats in debt. Uh, which you can see if you declare on one of their... So if, if we were to declare on France, uh, Castile is 5,801 Ducats in debt. So they are probably on the verge of bankruptcy. At the very least, they have so much uh, debt at this point that they are they're not getting out of that hole. So whether they go bankrupt or not, they're going to be impoverished and and very slow to act for most of this game. So uh, we have a claim on Kilwa, which we need to take. So we want to take two different things in here. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I just know what I need to do. So we have this claim here, which will give us access to creating Mutapa. And we have a claim. We don't have a claim down here, sorry. Uh, and we have to take one province down here. It's preferable to take a 1-1-1 province, but we can't do that. What we'd be looking for is to try and take this fort, if possible. So I'll probably send that 9,000 troop army down here to get that done. I think we're also going to send this army uh, over here. And between the two of them, we should be able to have no problem. We are also going to be sending this army as well once we get around to it, though. Okay, let's see here. You guys are going about your business protecting this node and you are very damaged I'm gonna oh actually you know what I should do I forgot about this is it on is it on my list da, da, da. no it's not even on my list because I'm a dope but that's fine uh, let's see ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. Uh, the other thing that we have left to do is if you look we have 38 percent control here and I was figuring, I'm trying to figure out what I could do about it. If I do transfer trade power instead, I think that will actually change the uh, the dynamic here. So give me a second. I think that'll give me uh, some more trade value. And we complete this. So the key is that the reason that it wasn't increasing it before... Uh... Oh, that's convenient. These guys are going to punch right through. Uh, Shizen. This is Okay, uh, these guys are just going to pop up here, I guess. This is unfortunately Savannah. So, you know what? We're not going to send that army over at all. I'm going to send both of these armies over here to just chill adjacent. And we'll get there eventually. Savannah, 23. Okay, we're fine. So we have these guys. These guys are already in. We're set. Now then, I can make states. Don't think I need to right now. And yes, so we can now set this back to collect from trade. We don't want to be transferring the trade out of here. Uh, but that gave us a nice little tick. The reason that it wasn't doing that before is because all of our trade power was coming from our vassal, which meant that it wasn't affected by our trade power modifiers at all. But we now have the trade power from the boats, and we were able to double the trade power that we were getting from the boats, basically. So uh, we weren't able to use them for any interesting, useful purpose, but that's fine. So uh, merchant guilds are still not able to be dealt with. Do we want to summon a diet and give some influence? 
and loyalty. That'll get these guys up to 66%, which is not amazing. No price meddling is going to wear off eventually. I'm going to go ahead and summon a diet. It's fine. So proposal of the clergy, nobility, coast of Pernambuco. I don't know what that even is. So Pernambuco. Okay, so that's this here. So basically what we're looking for here is to increase our trade value. Doing this would give me a little bit of bonus. Oh, I forgot to actually send people over to start fabricating. Uh, let's see, we're gonna fabricate a claim on uh, Tim, uh, to on Joloff over here. And that'll be fine. And uh, what else do we need to do? Uh, we can call back the whales person if we want. We're not going to do it yet, though. We don't have any reason to write this second. Do we want to transfer trade power there? Da, da, da. We have someone collecting here. We have someone transferring here. We now have 10% of the wealth here. And that's being sent forward, it looks like. I'm gonna to need to figure out what I wanna do about this. I honestly think that it's probably in my best interest to largely ignore uh, this sector and to just go after Sevilla directly. I think that that's gonna be more cost effective than fucking around trying to get a down, uh, an upstream uh, node. Okay, so we can Uh, let's continue on with our lives for now. So if we can get... this up to equilibrium, that still will not give us quite what we want. Okay, we won that battle. And we're going to be declaring on Guamar. We're going to be waiting until we get some more soldiers down here. And then once we've got the extra soldiers, we will be... Uh, going after Killa. It's actually tempting to just send these guys here and see if I can declare while they're still doing their business there. I'm probably not going to be able to, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to just send these guys back here. It's all fine. And we have an income of five. We are about to have way more. We have Guamar here, which we have a claim on. We have no diplomats to send. We're going to pull you back. And in 15 days, we will be able to declare on Guamar and take control of their entire nation. They do not have any allies. They do, however, have a rank 10 military. So their military is up to date. And we are actually just going to send these troops in here. Let's take a look here. They only have 8,000 troops, so we can split these guys. And it'll be fine. Do you have siege? You do not. Okay. And do we have anybody else that we want to fabricate on? I think we do. We're going to fabricate on Kano down here. And we're going to get all these fabrications done before we do anything else, I think. So this is their army. We're going to definitely need to wipe that before that stuff happens. These guys, I don't know if they're going to arrive or not. Should I recruit a general? Let's do it. And he's trash, but that's fine. Okay, I want to pop in here. Let's do it. I don't know how well this is going to work. They only have a rank 9 military, so it's a little bit more effective than it otherwise would be. But we are going to lose a decent number of troops fighting this swarm. It looks like we didn't need the 10k army after all. That's fine though. So these guys are just going to sit here recovering. Did we get our troops to where they need to be now? Oh, 
Oh, that's the other thing that I didn't do. Okay, so this is something that I thought about but did not actually write on the list. I need to change up my thing here. So we need to basically set all of this shit as desired territory because my vassals haven't been able to uh, do their job, which is to get me all of the claims. Boom, done. All done. The other thing is that we want to set this stuff, all of the things, because we don't have any claims on Scotland, and Scotland is a totally separate alliance chain from the other people. So we could be able to punch through both of them simultaneously, and that'll be great. Now that we've got five income, we will have more soon. These guys are going to head to here, I guess. And have my boats arrived? Yes, they have. They arrived probably a while ago, and I didn't notice. So these guys are going to pop down to here, I guess. We're gonna just drop these troops off here in Matsolo and move on with our lives. We need to get these guys up here. They actually do have a proper military, so their rebels are in trouble. On the plus side, I this just now occurred to me, but I'm pretty sure that fighting those rebels automatically gave us access to uh Gave us a, a breach. I think you get a breach automatically when you successfully uh, fight off a battle. So that will help us considerably. So here we go. We got this going down. So these guys are heading into Congolese Mexico territory. And is it one more? Yes, it is. So we can go ahead and fabricate a claim on this province. And we're done with that. So we now have quite a bit of the stuff that we have claimed. Okay, Florida Blanca has become self-sustaining. And we have access to another one of these. Uh, we could do institution spread in true faith provinces if we want. That's not terrible. Uh, I think I'm going to do ship trade power propagation. I think by the end of this, I'm going to have quite a lot of trade power coming from ships. And even right now, I think that it's going to be moderately useful for what I'm currently doing. Unfortunately, I do not have nearly enough sailors to do my job. That's fine. Uh, do I have my diplomatic stuff set? I do not, so I'm going to just... Set all of this, and... and everything else. So we're going to set everything in the world as a province of interest because it just makes my life a little bit easier and gets my vassals to do what I want them to do. Boop, 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 done. All right, so we've got that done. What do we want to fabricate on now? If anything, I don't think we want to fabricate on something. I think we're going to look at our uh, vassals and we're going to start improving our relations with them. So we haven't been improving relations with Mosi. We're going to start doing it now. They have 9,000 troops here. We just won that siege. And we can now. So, Doomsday has just fallen upon Kalima, 
And we are... This is mountains. This is also mountains. Let's do it. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? What could go wrong? We do have a pretty major morale advantage. Oh, fuck. Uh, I need to actually pull back all the way to here. Hopefully we get there, because I made some serious mistakes here. 9%, huh? I think we're fine. I, sh I shouldn't have gone straight there. That was very silly of me. Okay, we're at 96% war score. We don't want to necessarily end it until the uh, army is dealt with. Okay, it looks like their army is going to flee to here, which is also mountains. So what we're going to do is we are going to pop back here, and we are going to pull you back for now. It doesn't take very long, and that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Yep. Well, I'm an idiot. I just lost this whole fleet, didn't I? <laughs> wow. I just... That was really dumb of me. This is what happens when you wake up early and do dumb things. Well played, Ark. Well played. So now that I've successfully deleted my entire navy, um, we can replace it, I guess? Uh, let's see. Let's avoid indebting ourselves to anybody. We don't need to get any of that business done. How are we doing here? Okay, well, we managed to save, like, 3,000 troops out of our 10,000 troop army that we just wiped at sea. And we can now just take everything here. That gives us 55 aggressive expansion. And it costs us... It costs us Diplo power because they have modernized, it looks like. We're just going to take it all anyway. It doesn't cost us very much. And it's important that we get rid of them because they are, functionally speaking, a modern state. So, uh, we can now go ahead and hunt for the seven... Uh, do we want to do that? No, we don't. Hey, Poutine, how's it going? How goes the battle? What's our supply limit? 13, so definitely not consolidating. And next on the agenda is what? Cherokee are fighting Portuguese Louisiana. Oh my god. The Choctaw are attacking! Wow. Oh, nice. Congrats. One of these days, I will finish the uh, the Witcher. It will happen. Really, it will. So, we have a revolt here. And unfortunately, it's a revolt that we need to put you in charge to go deal with. You guys can just chill here. We now have a pretty sizable amount of income, which is good. And this is actually going to be great. If Portuguese Louisiana gets taken out, I'm going to have a much easier life. Uh, let's see, we have Creek here. I unfortunately lost like the vast majority of this army, but I think I still have enough of an army here that it's fine. Oh, but Mogadishu is going to be pulled in as well. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to wait on the war with Kilwa? If I wait on the war with Kilwa, I should really be getting something else done instead. Jesus. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. It's completely wasteful. Oops, that's not what I want. 
Um, so Joloff is going to be hard for me to get claims on. I guess I should have annexed them with uh, the Mali before. Cherokee are planning on attacking Creek. This is about to finish. When this finishes, we should have a colonial nation up here. That'll be very useful. So these guys are just going to pop to here and wipe that army. We've now got a little bit to go to get match lock. Anybody that we want to declare on right now? Jean is, I have a truce with. I tempted to go after Killa right now. I think I were to go after Killa right now, actually. I have the claim on Zumbo. And they have a pretty solid leader, though, is the problem. So I should really bring this army over. Can my vassals... No, I'll bring this... I'll bring this one over. It's fine. So this army's going to come over, and we're going to walk instead of getting on the boats, because I clearly cannot be trusted. Congolese Canada is now a thing. These guys can pull off of here. They don't need to do that, actually. They need to be given this guy so that he can pop back over here and do his job, which is to get them across the territory that we do not have direct control over. So we need to get a claim on Katsina, which we cannot... Uh, we already have one. Uh, but we can fabricate a claim there as well. That'll be fine. Need claims in Noop. And we're moving right along. So these guys can pop down here to Zumbo itself. Unfortunately, they do have a better general than us. And we do not have our settler out. So let's send our settler to here, I guess. Okay, so they are sending 13,000 troops toward my territory to go carpet siege, it looks like. And I don't have any cannons here, so I should probably resolve that situation. I'm gonna build one cannon, which we will put right here. We just got a thinger, which is good. These guys need to do their business. And what else do we need to do? So we've fully occupied this place. These guys are actually popping to here, which is the thing that exists. They have a lot more troops than I was expecting them to have. I'm not gonna lie, this is way more than I was expecting. So hopefully they do not realize that they have the ability to die of me. It occurs to me that I actually have the cheap trade efficiency advisor that I could be hiring. So, do I want to do that? This is the wrong type. So, trade efficiency for seven. I think I'm going to go with this. This is fine. So, we have the morale boost, and we are all hunky-dory for now. You know, maybe what I should do is set this army as attachable and have this army go chase these guys down. I don't know if that'll be feasible. But yeah, my hope here is basically that I'll be able to take the kill uh, army uh sorry i'll be able to take the kill of fort here and have that be sufficient did we just instantaneously get a thing
No, why don't we have a thing? I'm actually just gonna pop these guys in here. Okay, there's a point. Uh, are we not able to do this when we're at war? Didn't we just do it while we were at war? There we go. So Congolese Louisiana is now a thing that exists. So we are in good shape. We can do our business. These guys can hopefully... Oh god. I need this to tick. Oh good. They're not even coming after me. That makes my life a lot easier. I thought this army was going to dive me. But it looks like they're a bunch of filthy cowards. And we just won this siege. Which means that we should, hypothetically, be able to get some good work done. I can outnumber them by 50% here, but, and this is actually quite important, while I can outnumber them by a considerable margin, I'll still have some slight problems there. Do we want to start carpet sieging them over here? Uh, Alright, let's get another 50% cheaper... Finger advisor. I'm going to actually go sit on Killa. And since we're going to be moving over there, we're going to bring these guys over as well. It's probably a bad idea. These guys are all going to the same place. Oh, no, they're not. Fine. All right. So the goal here is basically just to get ourselves into position for this. Uh, we only need one province here. We just need to take our our claim, and we need 10% war score for that. But once we get 10% war score, we actually might be able to very rapidly uh, end the war. We're going to immediately pump our stability again. And I don't, if we get to 10% and we take their capital, I think we can do this immediately. They've split their army. They are not taking this province back. So since they're not taking the actual war goal back yet, we're in pretty good shape. So we're 9%. At 10%, we can make demands. And we should get that just from sieging back our provinces here. It occurs to me, though, that we can also siege their provinces in the same... At the same time. And there we go. We're now at 11%. Are we going to be able to... Oh, we can't actually piece them up for this yet. Oh, they have 28% on this already. Jesus, that is ticking fast as fuck. That's suboptimal. It's gonna take this. Is that... It did not. Good. Okay, we're at 11%. I don't know why they're not attacking me right now. But if I lose control of that siege, then I'm actually going to have to siege down their capital, which would be very unfortunate. So it's very optimal if I can piece this out before that point. And that did not tick, so that's good. Uh, these guys are heading to here. We cannot quite do this yet. That's a tick. And that's it. Done. So we got control of that. We can use that to create a new vassal. So Zumbo can be turned into Utapa. And now we have Reconquest Kasus Bali against Kilwa, which is great. So these guys are going to go to here. Here, I guess. 
Actually, this army is going to go like this. This army, I'm pretty sure, came from over here, so we're going to just send them all back. And that should be fine. Now then, anything else that we need to worry about here? Yes, we apparently finished another colony and didn't send out a colonist immediately. And let's do this. I have very, very little uh, thing here. So Portuguese Louisiana is now on the list. We've got the ability to declare... Oh, in-game music is off. Sorry, yes. Uh, th th you managed to get yourself cursed. Isn't curse instant death? Or, or is curse... Does curse apply the withered status effect or something? I don't actually remember. Yeah, I, f I f had turned off the music because it was distracting me while I was talking earlier. So you guys, we can fabricate a claim on Noop. And you, we can not fabricate a claim until we have a little bit more. So we're going to wait on one more month, and then we will declare on somebody here, probably. Hasina... Joel off an air. Oh, these guys are no longer allied with the people in the West. So if I were to declare on you, I have three claims that I can take off Timbuktu. I don't have anything off of air, but I can actually annex Kano at the same time. Do we want to do that right this second? The total enemy army is 16,000 troops. And we have 12,000 right here. Mosi could potentially rebuild. Oh, they don't need to rebuild because they've still got their full army over here somewhere. Do I want to wait for my troops to get back? Or do I want to declare now? I figure I might as well declare now. Well... Yeah, I might as well declare now. They have a rank 10 military, so that's important to recognize. So take hold. Is there any way... Does Kano have a shorter alliance chain? No. They actually have a longer alliance chain, weirdly enough. So we can do this. We're going to make this declaration. These guys are going to allow friendly armies to attach and just walk into Timbuktu, I guess. Actually, we're not going to have them walk into Timbuktu. <laughs> All right, so we lost the colonial cause. What? Oh my god, Morocco. Morocco is just ripping up Portugal. Oh, life is glorious. The re reconquista is real. Okay, so. Is everybody still walking? Yeah, they're all still walking back. We'll let them do that. And what else do we need to do? Now is the time for me to start building my armada. So, do I want to start building heavies? I don't think I need the heavies first. I think I need to rebuild my uh, thingers. I don't have enough sailors, apparently. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have you guys uh, just come back to port. Because it's just silly for me to do anything else. Let's see. Do I have anything useful? <sighs> Shipyard. Force limit. I can build docks. Let's 
It's not gonna help me that much, though, to be honest. Let's see, anything else that I can do? Oh, jeez! Are you not? You are. Why are you not attacking? Oh, well now you're not gonna do it. Shit. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. Okay, so... We are gonna pop our way in here. And unfortunately, we are actually losing this siege race very much. We are very badly losing this. I forgot to click this button when I had the opportunity to, which is kind of unfortunate. We have 21,000 troops here, which I think is probably appropriate for dealing with Killa later. And anything else that we need to do? We just lost the Siege of Go. Which is not great. Anything that we need to do, really. So we want to take Kano. Yeah, this was probably a mistake. I should have I should have waited because now I'm going to suffer a bunch of uh, thinger. I'm used to having more vassals around to do shit, and they really are just running a buck over here because I didn't have anybody here to do anything about it. So, Truce of Newfoundland, and England has ended. So, do I feel comfortable fighting a war with England right now? Yes, I do. So, uh, we have 14,000 troops here. Newfoundland will join the war. Uh, we can, I think, remove Newfoundland while we're doing this, and we basically can just send these guys straight down to deal with the problem. So, we have five fucking claims right now with uh, Northumberland. So, we're going to take Northumberland's claims. It's going to be great. Uh, these guys can be... Do I want to recruit a general? Uh, no, I don't. So, we're going to allow friendlies to attach and we're going to just dive for one, but it's fine. You have a rank 11 military, which is not something that I necessarily want to dive into. So instead, we're going to just sit over here on their capital. What I should have done, and this just now occurred to me, uh, is I should have gotten the thing dealt with. Unfortunately, they do now have a... Uh... Just want the Siege of Timbuktu. It's harder to keep track of people these days. And... We have the ability to dive in here. It looks like somebody just lost a fight over here. Uh, we can sit on Kano. It'll be fine. It's the worst that could happen, except for Air attacking me. Air doesn't have that higher rank of military, but they are roughly on par with me. So Timbuktu, if we go and sort by this... We then need to take other stuff from people to get this going, right? Okay. It's actually tempting to just peace out immediately, because I've got these provinces already set. The war goal is Hode, 
but we don't have, unfortunately, a thinger on it right now. You know what, let's just go into Hode. We'll grab that. I think we might be able to get all these things. They're gonna love being Congolese. And let's see, how is this fight going? It's a little concerning, but it's probably gonna be fine. We can probably just keep sitting up here. So, as long as the English troops don't show up to light me here, I should be fine. So we have one thinger. And at some point we are going to have to uh, get ourselves a little bit more stuff. But for now, I think we're okay. I really hope these Anglican zealots don't come attack me, because that's going to suck. I think they are going to attack me at some point. Did this seriously finish already? Holy shit, my colonies are just going crazy right now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I already have five. So we don't need to send this diplomat or this uh, colonist. We will instead send someone up to Colonial Peru. So. Da -da -da. We're just waiting on this to tick so that we can see. That's actually a pretty good amount of war score just from that. So we can give this to Fulo. And can we take all three of these? Yes. So we can just take all of our claims straight off of Timbuktu and uh, call it a day. So let's do that. We can cord up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot. So, we have a tech penalty for now. How are you doing on printing press? Printing press is coming along nicely, and hopefully they will give me that. We have claims over here now. That's good. Um, what else do we need? We are currently in this war with England, which is going to take quite a while. I don't have the ability to send more troops up here, so it's a little trouble. Let's see. Do I have anything I can do before I resolve this? To... So we have noble rebels that have just shown up. Alright, so we're popping these guys down to help out with the siege. They do have 9,000 troops here now. The funny thing is that I just got, like, local autonomy from that, so... Let's see here. What else do we need to do? So we're now in a, basically a base race with England. Brittany is fighting a bunch of people that we don't have to care about, necessarily. Just lost Conquest Custis Blade against someone over here. Not a huge deal. Anything else that we need to be doing? Yes, we need to be fabricating on some other people. We need to fabricate on air. We don't really have much going on over here. Now then. They are probably going to finish this siege first. We do have Congolese Brazil showing up with troops over here now. This is status quo again. So the Anglican Zealots are fucking around here. I just won this battle. We can take this back. This, this is a supply limit that's too low for these guys. We're going to split them in half. And we can do some other business. Please stop trying to siege with 0.8k troops right next to the rebels. You are going to get wiped and I'm going to be sad. And let's see. We're currently sitting 
on a neutral war score with these guys. What is the war goal? War goal is Chester. So I'm going to go ahead and split two dudes off to go to Chester. The issue is that these zealots might decide to go in here. You know what? We are going to... And you were not doing your job, so now I'm stuck with this problem. And... Everything's fine. Let's see. Oh, Curse has your health. Where is my mouse? Why is my mouse not moving? Why is my mouth not moving? What the fuck? Uh, what just happened? Oh, that's the fight that is over there. So we'll go to Norfolk. We'll go to Essex. So we still have not actually taken control of the war goal. Uh, we can go to here, hypothetically. I'm concerned about where they're going to go. I don't want to sacrifice any troops over here. Oh, right, I didn't do anything about this situation. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. You guys should actually chill here, huh? Alright, so these guys are now going to Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire? I guess. Unfortunately, can I go to Oxford? Yes, I can. So I can go all the way to here, it looks like. These guys cannot, for whatever reason. And... Fulo's troops have shown up in England. Not too shabby. Scotland has expanded their reach. And what else do we want to do? Nope. Nope. So we can't get them out without going through this province. That's totally fine. We'll just sit here waiting. So once we've taken Chester back, that should help us a little bit. We've got Matchlock Musket. So now that we've got a rank 11 military, we are in better shape with regards to a lot of this stuff. We've taken Chester. Oh, and I just realized I actually need to take control of all these provinces anyway, as part of the war goal. Because I need to be able to give these provinces over to Northumberland. Alright, these guys are now in a position where they can get over here. So we're going to start splitting things up. Anything else that we need to do? We have these guys fucking around doing nothing. Let's fix that. Oh, wow. Wait, is Kano their vassal now? No. Oh, interesting. Okay, so uh, we are actually going to keep fabricating on them, I think. Uh, let's see. Anybody else that we need to fabricate on? We tried doing that, and that wasn't turning out great. We don't have a claim on this last province. I'm going to go ahead and get a claim on this. That'll allow me to fully annex them if I get into a war with them. And go for it. So there we go. Now I have my mouse again. I don't know why my mouse disappeared. So, curse has your health until you cure it. Plus, if you die and respawn, it's still it. Yeah, so that's basically what happens when you die, right? Like, that's the normal death penalty, is it? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I think I played most of that game in curse form. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, these guys are scaring me a bit. So we've taken control of Derby. We can give Derby over to Northumberland. The key at this point is just going to be having control of all of the things that I need to have control over once the uh, siege goes. So this is actually going to be a grotesque amount of aggressive expansion. I don't know whether we're gonna even going to be able to take it all without forming a coalition against ourselves. So we probably... We'll probably be fine. Okay, so what else do we need to do? Uh, we have fetishist zealots down here. You guys are not actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. So let's do this. And we are sitting one below the thinger that we need. Who are my rivals? So I guess I could just send a, like an insult to Austria. Like, there's no way on Earth Austria is going to attack me, right? They're a completely landlocked nation with no ability to attack me. Alright, so we're going to, yeah, we're just going to send a scathing insult to them. Let's do it. So, we gain 10 power projection. And we are all set. I should have read out the insult, because the insults are funny in this. Uh, let's see here. Anything else that we need to do? Okay, we have our diplomat back, so we can actually see. These are the five provinces involved, I think. I actually have a claim on Placentia. I can have them concede Canada. I'd forgotten about that. And let's see. Any reparations. So this gives us 82 aggressive expansion, including 32 with France, which is sufficient for France to join a coalition. So what that's going to mean is that we're going to need to take something smaller than that off of them during this war. We will maybe not take Norfolk. I'm reasonably sure that it won't make a difference. Oh, well. Uh, Garcia, were you any good anyway? I don't even remember. Okay, these guys need to get to Norfolk, but they can't really easily get there without going through these territories. So it's fine. We have a tech penalty, so we don't want to... Oh, Jesus. Uh, how much can I save? I cannot save that much. So, what do we want to do to spend some of our Diplo power? I would like to start annexing somebody, actually, but I don't think I'm going to be able to right this second. Uh... Definitely should have kept improving my relations with Mosi, huh? Uh, so what do I want to do with regards to this? I could start annexing... Nope, can't start annexing Wales. The hope here is that I finish what I'm doing here so that I can actually get Thanger. I need to finish the Siege of London because it's the only fort in the area, so I can't take anything without that fort. And let's see. We can... Let's 
Oh shit, we're already... Oh no, we're just nearing the cap. Uh, let's see here. Anything to do? I do think... it. I'm actually really tempted to start focusing on military power just because my guy's so trash at it. And it would probably help me a bit to have my military power up to snuff. I think I am actually going to focus admin, though. Da, 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 da. So we can actually move both of these armies to take control of these claims now. I'm probably not going to want them. I'm probably just going to have them concede the stuff. I hope that I can tick this. If I can tick this before I run out of Diplo power, which we did not tick it, that means that I need to, I need to spend some of my Diplo power. It's fine. We'll just pick some province in our capital region to... You know what we should do, actually, is pick a relatively... Yeah. Start building the development over in one of these places. So, Katsina, we already have, what, two claims on? If this ticks before this does, I'm going to be very, very angry. So, England just triggered a civil war, which has led to armies spawning on top of me and stack wiping me. That's lovely. That's very lovely. So give this to Northumberland. This, if this doesn't fucking tick ever, oh my god. It still hasn't ticked. Luckily they, they ran out of troops here. But Jesus Christ. I need you to tick. This is what happens when you don't have the uh, thinger. Finally, so we won the Siege of London. Uh, we can pull you back. Cannot fabricate, right? Yeah, I need 30. And we are immediately attacked by the Pretender Rebels. Lovely. And we can now say, how's it going? So we're not going to take this. And we will look at this. 65. So England gets added to the list, but we don't add France to the list, which is good. Portugal's already on the list, uh, but we have a truce with them. Timbuktu and Jean. Uh, Jean, is the, Jean and Messina, I think, are the only ones that we have to necessarily worry too much about from this list. But I think that we are totally fine to do this. They're going to take control of all this territory. And you guys can now retreat out, because there's no reason for you to keep fighting those rebels. And England will deal with its little civil war. And Portuguese Mexico, we have a truce with for three more years. And we had them concede Canada, so Congolese Canada is now frickin' huge. And what else do we need? Have we set all this stuff as part of our core interests? We have not, so let's start the process of encouraging our vassal to make claims all over Canada. The reason that I'm doing this this way and let's see here. We've got Timbuktu separatists from our vassal question mark. Are they ours? Are they ours? Oh, these are ours, aren't they? That's not right. This. Okay, so we now have 9%. Done. <laughs> so that eliminates this from the list. And we have Portuguese, Mexican pet separatists here. And we are all fine for now. So Jean has fabricated a claim. And now we can say, hey, about those transports that I've been talking about for a while, maybe we should build those now. 
let's go ahead and build the transports and get that done. We have another merchant that we can play with now. So we should probably collect trade here. And our truce with Portugal has just ended. So that's great. I don't want them to gain 10 influence, though. Shit. Okay, well, we're pissing off the merchants. Which is unfortunate, but this has got to be a thing. Oh, right, yeah, we needed to get trade power in this node somewhere. Was it this node? Was it Ivory Coast? Pernambu. Pernambuco is here. Okay, so this is a place that... Oh, I have a merchant here who's... Yeah, but I don't have any trade power from the merchant, I don't think. All right, so that's fine. What can I do to pump my trade power here? Castilian Brazil has a rank 12 military. Our place has a rank 10 military. Portuguese Mexico is doing a pretty decent job for themselves. So we don't want to declare on Portuguese Mexico. We actually want to declare on Portugal itself, but I don't think that I actually got myself a claim. Take the colony of Arkansas in North America. Is that going to be what we want to do? No, it's not. I think I should have the ability to do what I want to do here. Because of how, like, finicky the concede colonial region thing is. Rather than fuck around with it, I am going to build a spy network and I'm going to fabricate a claim on this. I know if I have a conquest casus belief for this province, I can just conquer this province and call it a day uh, while simultaneously taking control of the colonial regions. So we lost our advisor. I forgot about that. Let's see here. We now have a cheap advisor and a bunch of really, really expensive ones. This one is a really expensive one that gives me plus three Diplo power, which I don't actually need right now because I just realized that I'm capped on everything. Who can I annex? Are you guys coring everything? They have started coring one of the four provinces that I've just given them. Do I want to start annexing you? It'll cost three per month, which is not really a lot. It takes me nine years. Within nine years, they should have done this, right? But do I want to annex them at all right now? I don't think I do. So Mosi is not super available. Do I have any vassals that actually like me anymore? I do not. I should have been improving my relations with my vassals, because now I'm stuck uh, punching down my finger. That's a very terrible province to do that in. So what do I want to do? Diplo power, diplo power, diplo power. <sighs> I could technically get Galias, but that's such a such a gigantic waste. I don't want to do that. Okay, 
I can actually do 53 Diplo power here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do an encourage development edict here. And I'm going to start pumping development in just random locations around here. It might even just be this one province. Do I want to build an impressment office here? Salt fish, naval supplies, and tropical wood. Don't have any of that right now. Though, I will say, it's probably worth it. This increases the total number of sailors I have by, like, 10%. It's just, I'm just going to do it. So, we've got that building. Our useless general is dealt with. We now have... Thanger. We have the ability to try to annex them. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to start annexing Northumberland because that'll dramatically reduce the speed at which I'm accumulating stuff. And we can now start improving our relations with one of our other... Not right now, actually. Yes, we can. We don't need to fabricate anything else on Jean. Uh, are we ready to go after Jean militarily? Jolof and Katsina. And I could actually just annex Jolof if I want. I think I might want to do that. This is Savannah. Rank 10 military. We got a siege dude. This guy. Okay. I think we're probably going to want to dive here. Mm -hmm. So if we declare for one of our Thingers, we can basically annex Jean in one fight. We can take a decent portion of Katsina, and we can actually just annex Jolof. We're going to annex Jolof to get some of this Diplo power gone. I think that's the best way to handle this situation right now. And once these guys are done here, they'll move on to Katsina. These guys can do business. Know where those guys are going. So they're going toward either Jolof or other people. And how are we doing here? We got 35% there. I need to build more uh, thingers. We build two more cannons. I just want to have a cannon in every army. That, that way I can siege properly. These guys are running in to get themselves obliterated. And then we'll be able to uh, fully carpet siege uh, Jolof here. And these guys are sieging down mostly territory, not mine. We have... Do I want to get early modern distribution right now? It's kind of tempting, too, because I don't know how effectively I'm going to be able to keep ahead here. This is going up by a decent bit, but I think that I'm probably better off tagging this. I don't think that it's worth it to risk. That said, I am about to core a bunch of shit, but so maybe I didn't need to do that. And 
I can tick this if I want. It gives me innovativeness. Innovativeness I'm not gonna ever start losing again. So, it's actually a little tempting to do this. So this would give me a 0.2% reduction in all future power costs if I did this. I think I'm gonna maybe wait until next year question. Nah, I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna do it now, it's gonna be great. So we're now really far ahead. Oh, we just lost our king, and we have a new Garcia. Didn't we lose an heir named Garcia like 12 seconds ago? And we now have no cult selected. So morale 5% or discipline 2.5%. Domestic trade power is actually not bad. Land attrition is not terrible. Diplo rep is actually pretty good. How old are you? 20. I think I'm going to take Diplo Row. Because right now, uh, my largest hurdles are coming down to matters of efficiency and things of that nature as opposed to other stuff. So we have one more year before we can declare on Kilwa again. We're going to definitely want to do a de declaration on them as soon as we can. Take back our cores and all that good business. So these guys are all going to come together. And these guys are over here. I'm going to just pop these guys here. Lovely! I do so love having a cruel leader. Unrest is exactly what I need in my life. So we have we have a claim on Kano. We actually have a claim on all of this stuff, so let's Where are you going? Moshi. Oh, you're heading the opposite direction. Fine. Alright. So in we go. And what are we looking for here? I think that if I can, it would be very convenient to basically just annex everyone that I'm at war with right now. So I would need to take control of that. The problem is that, oh, you know what I can do though? And I should I should have thought of this. So I could have spent all of that uh, Diplo power that I have, I had that huge surplus. I could have used that surplus of Diplo power to just start annexing everything over here. And that probably would have been a better use of that Diplo power. Though, I mean, the reduction to all power costs is not bad. <laughs> okay. So we've taken control of that siege, we've won this fight, and what else do we need to do? So we need to take all three of these. And that means that I do actually need to siege them myself. So I think we're, we're going to need to carpet siege, basically, to get control of things in the right locations. So give this to Fulo. Actually, do I even need to do that? Because if I take this, is it going to cost me stuff anyway? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to piece out Joloff separately. And do we want to... Yes. We're going to give Fulo completely over... Uh, sorry, give this pro this entity over to Fulo just straight up. So that's going to cost me 34 Diplo power, not a huge deal. That's got the possibility of... Oh, wow, France has a minus 5 from this? Interesting. Uh, that's unexpected. We can fabricate a claim on 
not Arkansas. We want to fabricate a claim on... What is this? Satome? Tenerife. Don't need to build anything over there anymore. So what do we want to do over here? Okay, so on the plus side, if I ignore Jolof, then France doesn't have anything to do with anything. So taking these three provinces was is not possible because Katsina costs so much war score. We're not going to take Gwerko, apparently. Oh, right. We need to give control of this to Banger. I could start improving my relations with France. The problem is that they have me set as a rival, so it doesn't really matter. Um, oh my god, I have no legitimacy. Jesus. Okay, on the plus side, that's going to go up by one every year. So in 80 years, I'll be back up to normal. Because I can basically take three of these. If I wait until January, I should be able to do all three of those without trouble. Do we have any claims up here yet? We do not have a claim on that. We do have a claim on Quiche now. So we have the ability to go in on them whenever we want. Uh, Portuguese, Mexico. Oh, I didn't declare on Portugal yet. Correct. So... Are we ready to declare on Portugal? They are allied with Castile, who will not help them. Perfect. I think that we are ready to peace out here, actually. Oh, we will be once... Okay, we've got this. Give it over to Mosi. So, if we do this... Oh, that'll add France to the list as well. So if we just annex them, then we're fine on aggressive expansion, question mark. Yeah, France is causing problems for me. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. This is pretty quick and easy. Uh, it gets me control of some of this stuff, and we can move on with our lives. So, uh, this province here, I'm actually going to just grant over to Mosi. So, Bendugu is going to... I was looking for the wrong name. Uh, let's see. Okay. Done bar. Now then, uh, these guys can fuck around over here now. And how much aggressive expansion do we have in France? France has 48 aggressive expansion. So, our goal now is basically to get... 
a basically we're going to declare on Portugal with the goal being it, we're claiming that our goal is to take Tenerife itself but that's actually not the purpose of why we're declaring war we're declaring war so that we can take control of all their colonial assets so we're going to go ahead and do just that these guys are going to pop over here these guys are going to pop to here I guess Portuguese Mexican separatists have spawned in Cuba. That's suboptimal. And what else do we need to do? We need to start improving our relations with our vassals so that we can start getting some of this under control. Uh, Mosi is getting pretty big. Uh, we can royal marriage them, actually. We should have started annexing them, but that would have been way too sensible. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we can start improving our relations with Fulo, I guess. We still haven't finished getting that extra thing going. And let's see what else do we need. Our Tommy Separatists, because of course they spawn right at this particular juncture. And how are we doing against our needs right now? We have, wow, Congolese Brazil is pretty big actually. Truce with Kilwa has ended. I'm just gonna chill here. Luckily, this will have prevented any separatism from spawning, so that's good. Songhai. Where are they going? And those were mine. Whoops. Was not paying enough attention. On the plus side, they spawned in a place that is okay for them to spawn in. It's going to take so long for me to actually build up all those things. Oh, this was in mountains. A little bit nasty. Alright, so should I... Looks like we got 10... We got 13 uh, ships here. So we got these guys here together. We're going to pop them in here. We've got a general-ish... Something vaguely akin to a general. I'm going to take a look at the gender... The uh, list here. This is armies, unfortunately. Portugal has 13,000 troops somewhere. What kind of navy does Portugal have? Portugal has no navy right now because they went bankrupt. So, with Portugal having gone bankrupt, we are now in a great position. Oh, those hadn't merged. I was wondering how these troops merged without me being involved, and the answer is they didn't. Uh, I had other people involved. Okay, so... Our basic goal right now is for them to concede Mexico... and do basically all this. So that's going to give six aggressive expansion with France, so as long as I do this next year, I don't have to worry about it. So, and anything else that I want them to do, I could have them pay me war reparations and a bunch of money, and I might want to have them do that, actually. So my legitimacy has gone down from something or other. And we need to get some troops over to deal with this problem because that's a huge issue that is currently unresolved. Anything else that I need to do? I think we're set for now. I could declare war on Kilwa, but I don't want to declare war on Kilwa while I'm in war with Portugal. I'm gonna wait on that. Okay. Anything else that I should be improving relations with? Yes. Who is next on the chopping block. I have Fulo building already. I can start annexing mostly soon, I guess. They are fools! Uh, we can start actually improving our relations with Mutapa. Because I'm going to want to annex Mutapa as soon as I've got all their cores. So, how are we doing now? 
We have finished this. Congolese La Plata is now a thing. And we can do our standard business that we didn't do last time, but oh, I guess we can't do it because we don't have the people. Uh, but what we can do is send a colonist here, send a colonist here, and start working on getting this nation up and running. If we have sufficient colonial nations, we should be in very strong position to start just completely diving later. Mistakes were made. Also, you guys need to go deal with this rebel situation here. I wonder if I attach to these guys, if they will uh, go beat these guys up for me. Yes, they will. That's great. So I can get the I can get my vassals to help with rebels in a way that I did not know about before. That's really cool. So uh, these guys are heading over to deal with the rebels first. Yeah, I really need to get more of this territory. So Scottish Columbia is something that is this. Part of the Columbia region. There's... Yes, that is. So once I get that, Bohemia is offering us knowledge sharing. I accept. I thought they only offered it to allies, but Bohemia is now giving us knowledge sharing, and I will be able to purge this off much sooner than I anticipated. That's amazing. Uh, what the fuck are you guys doing? I thought you were going to help me deal with this problem. Friend? Friend? Okay, so nope. They're not going to help me because they're dumb. So instead, we're going to dive, and it'll be sad, and life will go on. They will hopefully help me out in the middle of a fight. And they're apparently going to cancel, so my life is sad, and we lose a lot more troops than we have to, and boo. So these guys are going to uh, recoup their losses. And uh, we need to, I guess, collect this fleet here. We will send this fleet to hang out with you. This army is going to deal with this rebel swarm and then move over to deal with the other thing, I think. So. We're halfway through the annexation of them. We have, wow, this one. Okay, we can get the Cabinet of Curiosities, get ourselves some extra innovation. And so we can start stockpiling innovation, which is nice. This is going to give us a pretty nice bonus. We shouldn't ever have to worry about the behind neighbors bonus or penalty anymore. So, do we want now? Are we ready to declare on Kilwa? They have probably a reasonably sized. This is quite a bit of enemy to deal with. So. I should have kept my uh, vassal there. I made a mistake, forgot about you. You guys can dive in now. They have a lot of matters. Okay, so once we've done this, leave a little bit of an army here. We don't need very much. And we can send the rest of the army to uh, go take control over here. Oh, did we already take control of it? Yes, we did. So never mind. The vassals are doing their damnedest to make my life easier. So life is great. 
the Portuguese fleet has come over and uh, got itself wrecked, it looks like. I say that, they might win. Looks like they're gonna win. Uh, unfortunately, these guys are just chilling in here, in port for no apparent reason. And let's see here. Merc discipline. Let's go with institution faith tr thing in true faith provinces because we are currently in the process of getting a new institution. We have control of a Portuguese thing right now. And anything else that we want to do. I think we can probably stop relations improvement over here. We just want another siege. And we can say, hey, how's it going? So getting them to concede all of this is not a terribly large amount of war score. Oh, it looks like they're filtering in new uh, ships. Oh, I have ships here. Help out the ships! So English separatists have spawned, which I wasn't actually expecting, because I wasn't looking. Congolese particularists are in the process of spawning, which we do not like. Should I boost my stability? Better question. No. Uh... I think I'm going to boost my stability. I have a lot of admin power, and that will peel off a good amount of these. So we now have just like two provinces that they can potentially spawn in. To get over here, unfortunately this is out of range of the fort. So if they tick this, which I think they will, yeah, they will. So there's going to be a little bit more separatism here. So we can no longer claim that our vassal's territory belongs to us. That seems a little backward. I feel like we should still be able to claim that. Uh, this is Louisiana's territory, so we don't really need to... Or sorry, this is part of the colonial eastern United States, so we're not going to give that to Louisiana. And we've got a 19 war score thinger here. So Nazca has just become self-sustaining. That was actually very quick. It's colonial La Plata. So one, two, three. Send a colonist here. And basically, if we can form a colonial nation here, we can fabricate a claim on these guys and just annex them outright. In addition, we'll be able to take uh, Scottish Columbia as soon as we are ready to declare on Scotland. We have claims on Scotland right now, but we're not going to keep them because we're in the process of annexing the people who have those claims. It's kind of funny. I was able to pretty much completely shut down my uh, Diplo growth, so it's a little unfortunate that... I ended up spending that stuff before I did. Okay, so... What's the supply limit of this province? Do I want to take my claim over here? Kill was just insulted us. What? Unacceptable behavior. I think I'm going to take this province. Let's take a look and see if that will piss off the fingers. It will not. So, since we don't have to worry about that... At some point we're going to need to get into a gigantic colonial war against Castile. But I'm basically putting that off until I have the ability to develop a larger navy than them either through virtue of them going bankrupt, which may well happen at some point in the near future. Let's take a look at Castile's... Oh, actually, we're in the right place. Let's take a look at Castile's navy. 
Castile has a huge navy still, so I'm pretty sure they have not gone bankrupt. So we're basically waiting for Castile to go bankrupt so that we can just dive them. And barring that, we also do have the ability to do some other stuff here. If we... Oh. If we can build a sufficiently large... Oh, our particularists are causing problems again. So Pubungo and Buzinza. Pubungo is part of a territory, apparently. And Buzinza here, which is also part of a territory. Boom. So those particularists are left off the map. And we have Molly Separatists, which is a little strange. I'm not gonna lie. Crush them with everything they need and more, yes. Give us that. Boost. It's pretty cheap. Everything they need and more is pretty cheap. Uh, let's see here. Anything else we need to do? So we've got tropical wood there, which is kind of cool. So, what else are we doing to Portugal? Oh, shit. I forgot about you guys. So we're just going to move down here. And we now have ten more of these. And... We're going to pop over here, and I think we might actually want to just dive their capital. That might be a reasonable thing to do. Land maintenance modifier, fort defense. Let's go with land maintenance for now. Give me something cheap. And we now have... This actually might on its own. You know, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go down here. This is such a weird path. Why am I padding? I guess because Castile has control of all this. It's such a weird way of moving. So I guess if we're going there, we might as well stop off here instead. Clearly, we should lose some more legitimacy, right? Clearly. Okay, these guys are actually going to take this back. Do I want... Actually, I don't want them to concede their stuff. Now that I think about it. So, this is actually what I'm going to do instead, I think. Because taking this one province is probably not worth it compared to what I can get out of doing this now. So we're going to peace out. And we now have this province here, which we can core up. And we're basically just going to be continuously increasing... I don't know why that would be particularists. Um, let's see. Marriage offer from Mutapa. Let's do it. And let's see. We now have Kilwa chilling down here doing their thing. And I think now is a good opportunity. Where's my fleet? It's over here now. 
I think I should be able to get through all of this without going into any uh, deep sea territory. So that's good. And what else do we have left to do? So Kilwa, we don't have any diplomats to send to. So if we declare for reconquest, look at all this reconquest we can do. Jeez. So the total number of enemy troops is actually very substantial. Total number of troops here is about 43,000 troops. That's a pretty large number. We cannot offer these guys vassalization yet. Uh, but 43 from distance between borders. We're getting there. It's just taking a very, very long time. Are we ready to declare on you? I could hire a merc company. Uh, I mean, it's almost impossible to hire a merc company, actually, because they're just so damn expensive at this point. Uh, uh, I think we are going to... These guys need to stay up there. Do we want to send anybody from here? Probably not. We can send this army back over. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, nice. 10% duplo cost reduction. Not that it really matters. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Let's do that. Plus 5% to professionalism. I tend to always choose the option that gives me professionalism. I have the ability to seize land right now, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. This will not put anyone below 30. So nobody's going to rise up in rebellion, and that gives me exactly 50%, which is good. Oh, we haven't completed our agenda over here in Brazil. We might be able to do it just by sending boats over. So let's send the boats over once we get them to where they're going over here. So I have plus five to my maximum absolutism and a 5% modifier from the thing. That's kind of cool. I don't know why they keep going into, like, deep sea provinces. The pathing in this game is really weird. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and protect trade in Brazil. You guys can walk down here. And we've now got 30,000 troops down here. It's not amazing, but we're going to take it. Let's try it. We've got Mogadishu, Warsangli, a bunch of people to deal with. They're going to spread their armies all over the place trying to deal with us. So if we can get control of this fort and then siege down a bunch of Kilwa's territory, I think we'll be in good shape. Uh, we're going to set the war goal to be Tate, I think. And I could actually call Mombasa into this war if I want, which will actually slow down the enemy advance quite rapid, quite a lot. Let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them in. And let's see here. These guys are gonna pop over here. They do not have the, this thing. So we're gonna put the general in charge of this army. We're gonna put the conquistador in charge of this army. We're popping into take, taking control of that. These guys are coming down. We'll have 30,000 troops down here. It's not as many as they have, but they don't have them all in one place. So that is hopefully going to get the hell out of here. Hopefully these guys escape to safety, which it looks like they will. So we're taking control of the war goal. So, how are we doing with Northumberland? Have you managed to core everything? Looks like they have. So Northumberland has cored everything, and we will be in good shape there. We need to start improving our relations with Mosi again. 
after this war, we can start annexing uh, probably Mosi. We might want to actually annex Mutapa instead. Probably not. We need to start getting Mosi under control. Okay. Integration is a slow process. Okay, so we now have 18,000 troops up here. And we have a little bark. And very importantly, we have a bunch of territory that we can state up. That gives me frickin' sailors. So we'll have sailors up here now. Imagine that. So... Look at that. Look at that. How much... Pretty decent boost to my sailor total. Okay, so... These guys are synced up. Uh, we're not actually gonna move these guys yet. We're gonna just wait. Oh, never mind. We can, we can move them. We can completely safely move this army wherever we want because... They have not done their thing. So we have improved drainage. We're not going to get that until we finish the thinger. Also, we are paying a large portion of our GDP. Do we have... No, we have the wrong one. So we need... Uh, advancement effort. So that we can get that done. And calling Mombasa into this seems to have worked pretty well for me, actually. It's not working so great for them, but, you know. Our goal basically is to carpet siege as much of this as possible, and then once we've carpet sieged as much of this as possible, we'll be able to, uh, hopefully, it's not a lot of war scope for that. Are we going to want to piece them out earlier rather than later because of the massive swarm that they've got there, or are we going to want to get into a big fight over there. We might want to get into a big fight over there. So before we do anything else, we are going to uh, carpet siege them down here, I think. Okay, so take control of this. Location. You're going to there. You guys are going to go to Zimbabwe. You're going here. You're going here. So we should have control of all of this stuff now. These guys are going to just pop over to here. Leave one dude here, and we're going to pull our armies to where they need to be. So our goal now is to take out the Mogadishu army here. And it looks like they're going to be getting into a fight with... Mombasa, which is fine for me. Not great for Mombasa, but it might help end the war sooner, which would be good for Mombasa. It looks like they're not going to get caught here, though, so are they going to fight up here? Uh, protect our trade... Competition's good for everyone when it comes from my vassals. When it's coming from vassals, it's fine. Alright, the other thing that I want to probably start doing is... I'm going to send someone to start improving my relations with my subject countries. This is going to take forever to get all of them to the point where it's not wasting all of its time, but... We've now got 14% war score, which is not a lot of war score. So 
So that is 59 war scores worth of cores. Which means we're probably going to need to start purging other people off of this war. You're now trading an ivory. That's plus two to our diplo rep. Our alternative here, we don't actually have... to do things quite that simply. I could just pop onto Mogadishu and start taking control of that. I actually should get a pretty decent amount of war score just from taking their capital. So if I take their capital and that gets me a bunch of war score, that's gonna be great. If it doesn't, then I'll be sad. So, it looks like Kilwa has some troops sitting up there. So Zumbo is in the process of being taken. That's unfortunate. We have four up here. We're going to take a fifth. We're just going to take this, I guess. Okay, that'll give us... Some of our business. Unfortunately, we are going to suffer some thinger from that. Hopefully these guys don't tick this. They did not. Hopefully we do tick this. But we... Oh, we did. Perfect. So we got 32% war score. And we have these guys coming back. We have these two things about to finish. I think I'm going to just end this here regardless of what's going on because I feel like right now it's probably going to take a pretty decent amount of time maybe not though I guess they don't have that much territory left and they're no longer going to be taking territory from me so since they're no longer going to be taking territory from me I'll be continuing to accrue the... Uh, but they will be taking their stuff back. Okay, their enthusiasm is now low. That's good. How much of this can we take back in one fight? Oh boy. We're at 36% war score now. And I think... Because of the fact that this army's about to catch me here, I'm actually going to just end it here. So, we can take 37 war scores worth. This actually also splits these cores off away from the rest of the entity. So, let's go ahead and do this. This will substantially weaken them. And I don't have a better... Because I, I could potentially take Zimbabwe, right? So I can take Zimbabwe instead of one of these lower value provinces. There we go. So we can do this. And this also gives us control of this fort, which means that they have less total fortifications in their empire. And I think that'll be valuable. So I think we're going to do this. This is pretty much exactly what we can do. Yeah, we can only do exactly 40. We're doing it. Boom. So Mutapa is back in action. Not just back in existence, but back in pretty good shape. So, Mutapa, anybody? It's 24, it's fine. <sighs> okay, so now, what do we want to do? We have Congolese Mexico over here, which probably has been fabricating claims for us. We have France over here with... 29 aggressive expansion purging by 3.6 every single year. That is amazing. So, England, we have a truce with for four years. So, in four years, we can declare on them. Holland has actually taken control of part of England, which is kind of interesting. Wasn't really anticipating that. And. 
what else do I want to do? So we've got Moravian Separatists. Malian Separatists. Why do we have Mali Separatists? Oh, we probably have a shit ton of... No, we don't have that much at War Exhaustion. Huh. Alright, well, let's... See how we can handle this. We've got... A trader. Oh, you know what we should do? I forgot to do this when I was talking about it before. Uh, we can... This is the wrong fleet. It's also the wrong fleet. Where'd the fleet go? Oh, did I already send them out? I did. So, how is our stuff here? We're 26%. Can we get this by hitting transfer instead? Will we that take us over? It does. This takes us over, and we should get this, and that is amazing. All right, so we can go back to collecting, because it's more effective for me right now. Okay, so Merchant Guild is now... God damn it. So, colony's finished. We got the trading in ivory boost again. Sunni zealots. Okay, Austria is still the emperor. And we've got Spanish Square. Do we want to get Spanish Square right now? Yes. If for no other reason than just the supply of the bonus. So we've got... I think this is the best one for my purposes. I mostly care about casualty rates. I don't care nearly as much about the actual uh, capacity to win an individual fight because it's generally my expectation that I'm going to be winning the fight anyway. So we can finish this in 11 years. So for 11 years, we'll have minus four uh, Diplo coming in. So that's fine. Let's do this. Annexing mostly is going to take a long time, uh, but it'll be very worth it when it happens. We have a shit ton of unrest. Why do we have so much unrest? So the Moravi Separatists are coming from where now? Kalunga, where's Moravi? Oh, oh, that's interesting. On the plus side, we already have an army here. So... I'm actually going to... Merge these up. So the Moravi Separatists do still exist, uh, but there are not that many of them. Cape Verde is, for whatever for reason, this is Particularists. I don't know why this province is spawning Particularists of all things. I'm going to go ahead and increase my autonomy. Limiting excesses is good. Okay, we can stop our relations improvement here. We can move on to Fulo, I guess. Did we already? We've got improved relations of 194 of them, so let's start improving relations with Wales, I guess. We've got quite a lot of improved relations with them, but we need to keep that up in order to prevent them from causing problems for us. So Cape Verde is now cored. 
and why do this? I don't know why we have separatism in this province, but we're getting particularists out of it. It's very strange. Alright, so what else do we have left to do? We still have... We haven't even finished conquering Mexico, so we should probably do at least one more big war over in this region. Let's go ahead and take this diplomat back so that we can start sending them to do interesting things, like declare on quiche, which we do have a claim for, I believe. And we do. We have two claims on them, so we're going to go ahead and declare. I don't think they even have any allies, right? So this is... Yep. They have no allies. They have one fort. And once we take control of the fort, that's pretty much the end of the fight. So we will lose our claim on Bindugu. That's fine. I'll declare there. And I have a colonist for some reason. Did somebody get kicked out of their colony? Oh, I took a colony from the Portuguese. Oops. Uh, do I want to keep building this colony that's of the wrong... No, I don't actually. So you can fuck right the hell off. And we can go send our colonists to do something useful. Uh, this is the wrong continent. Same basic shape, but completely different region of the world and let's see here we're gonna just uh send some folks into colonial eastern america i was intending to start doing serious work over here before but I didn't. All right. congolese particularists have shown up which is actually pretty good i can just pop over here with these guys because they're not needed over here, I don't think. That's what this army's for. And the particulars showed up, which means that we have a recent uprising from the other thing. But we don't have an actual separatist problem or anything like that. So we can now build a fleet. We're going to just keep trying to get our... Uh, fort or not, or, uh, naval supply limit on board. Uh, do we want to go? Yeah, we're gonna actually just send this army to go fight their army. I'm gonna leave the sieging to my vassal. If we can take control of their only fort, then that'll be great for us. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move one of these guys to go chill here. The rest of the 17,000 are going to be put with a conquistador. The reason that I'm sending one dude down here is because there's a decent chance that as soon as I start attacking these guys, that they will, uh, these guys will walk off, or like start walking off and then go, oh, never mind, I don't need to go anywhere. And I do not want that. So instead, we're just going to let these guys, excuse me, these guys need to. Uh, actually, no, I can't put them on auto because they do dumb things. So I need to micro that, and we can micro this. And we can do it both at the same time because I've got such mad skills. That is a lie. But. Uh, anything super good here? Ooh! I like you. That's six. Uh, finger. So we're wiping this one out. And it looks like they are in another war now. Which I guess I should have thought of and started uh, taking control of everything just now. But yeah, you know what? It's fine. As long as we don't allow them to take too much. So let's see how much of this place we can take. I want to take as much of the coastline as possible. <laughs> so 
So if I take 50% war score, that's kind of a waste. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to pop to here. These guys are going to take Meatla, and that's fine. I'm going to try to basically just take everything around here. And if people take this kind of stuff, that's not, not a huge deal for me. Okay, so we took control of that. Proposal of the Merchant Guild is to have 40% in Pernambuco. Trade between Delaware and Delaware is very hard now. Uh, I could get myself... Ooh, I could get an Inquisitor. But I can't... I can't even convert Temper 2, can I? Whoa, I can actually convert quite a lot of territory, actually. So Timbuktu is not actually convertible. So I don't know why it's trying to convince me to do that. Um, but I think I'm going to do the Proposal of the Merchant Guilds because uh, I want the Merchant Guild under control. And this will help with that. I need to start getting some of their uh, benefits under control so that I can do some good business. So we now got 80% war score. We should be able to take whatever we want here. Okay, so this is... Okay, we need a little bit more, so... Okay, we're at 87%, and we can take this 95% war score, this is 94, let's do it. So this will give us a shit ton of aggressive expansion, but it's with enemies around here. It's 76% overextension, which is pretty solid, and this will basically allow us to uh, ignore this region for a little while, while they deal with a mixture of rebellions and uh, coring. So we can get everybody together here. And what else do we need to do now? We have a rebel uprising here to deal with, which will hopefully not spawn, but I'm guessing that it's probably going to spawn eventually. The Zazwin territory to the fingers. I just saw this province. Okay, Oyo. Okay, right, they're at. 60% we should be fine. Uh, let's see here. We've got a bunch of territory to core now, so we can do that. I don't think I want to get improved drainage yet. I want to wait until... Oh! I can do this now. Interesting. So I could, if I want, take this. And I think I'm going to. This privilege will be removed automatically when uh, we pay it off. Let's embrace this institution. We've now got the printing press. We can hit dr this immediately. And we are all set. So we're very close to getting scientific experimentation. And we are set for the next 30 years. We are ready on our institutions. So... That's useful. Our governing capacity is a little concerning, but not a lot concerning. And we have the ability now to say, okay, what kind of stuff do we want to build? We should probably build some heavy uh, flagship here. 
So, I'm going to build this. I don't want the trade route map for right now. Fleet engagement width is probably pretty useful for me. Uh, blockade impact on siege, though, I think is going to be more important. Whoops. So we're going to do blockade impact on siege and fleet movement speed. Because fleet movement speed is very useful for a lot of reasons. So let's do it. And we've now got a pretty decent amount of money. We're building these guys over here. We've built some, a flagship. We're going to have six heavies. To putter around with. Oh, that's interesting. I can apparently tag these for some reason. I don't know why I can. Because I should not really be able to do that, but it's fine. Uh, let's see here. I like this. And there we go. So those guys are busy doing their business. Mexico is starting to come into line. Fulo is doing its business. How long do we have on England? We have two more years on England. We have... 25 aggressive expansion with France, which means that when we go after England, we can finally take Cornwall. Yes! Wales has a claim on Cornwall. Uh, I can also, if I want, I can fabricate a claim on London, and I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to use my next war. I'll potentially take some claims from Wales as well, but the primary thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just take... Um, I'm just going to take control of the uh, of London because if you look at uh, the trade stuff with London, London itself is the majority of their trade power. So London is 55 trade power right now. I'm actually going to collect from trade here because I can. We currently have 4% of the trade value in the node. So we might as well start using it. And let's see, what else are we going to do? I'm going to turn London into a uh, trade uh, company thing, I think. But I think trade companies might actually only increase trade steering. I don't know if they increase your collection rate. So these guys can actually just move on. I still haven't finished this connection. I'm going to connect this once I finish my next colony, I think. Wales has a pretty sizable amount of improved relations. And Louisiana Noble Rebels. Um, let's see here. Anything else that we need to do? Yes, we need to insult one of our rivals. So let's go over to our rivals. We have Castile. We ha There's no way that Castile is going to declare on me. We're just going to piss them off. It's going to be great. All right, so we can take you out of Wales. And we will do a scornful insult to Castile. And then we can send you back to Wales. Alright, so we still have a couple of cores of Mutapas to deal with here. We have three cores that Mutapa still has in Kilwa. So in our next war with Kilwa, we're going to be utilizing the fact that we have the more powerful fleet to go wreck house. Because I think we should be able to do so. Uh, air's position... Oh! I think... We're going to want to do this. Because that gives me plus 1% to my missionary strength. Which will allow me to convert a bunch of tech provinces. Including converting a bunch of England itself. We have English separatists! Oh, no's! 
Oh yeah, so let's take a look at these English Separatists. We've got 18,000 of them, potentially. Uh, let's see. Do we want... yes. Hire this guy. And what else do we need to do here? I think it might be time to build a few more cannons. So the Moravian Separatists are still on the list, still have not... Oh, oh, there they are. There they are. Found you. So these guys should be dealt with immediately, and then we're set. Castile, ha! So we can get a local unrest reduction there. Trace sure of the Joloff has ended. Katsina has ended. Okay, we have a claim on Katsina. We have several claims on Katsina. Katsina is actually a really big target for us right now. We can get scientific experimentation. Seems like a useful thing to have. We can build plantations now. That's exciting. And what can we do here? We can take Diplo ideas. That gives us Diplo reputation, gives us extra Diplo relation slots, and more diplomats, which... Honestly, more diplomats is probably the most important thing for me right now. Because I simply have so much shit that needs to happen, and I can't do it all with my current number of diplomats. So, we've got claims on Jolof. They're allied with Timbuktu and Messina. So, if, I mean, holy shit. So Messina is allied with Jolof and Air. Do I want... I don't have anything on Timbuktu. I don't have anything on air. But I could annex most of Messina in one war. I think we're gonna wanna attack Messina. So this will give us Jolof and air as an enemy. So let's cancel autonomous suppression. And we are going to start getting ourselves. Actually, you know what? We're going to upgrade our ships instead of moving. You guys can just keep chilling right there. These guys can do their thing. This army can, I guess, get to a place where it's useful. And I'm going to need to build an army that's actually useful here at some point. We should be able to... Six years on this. How long do we have on you? We have like a year. We have less than a year before we're attacking England again. But we have 18,000 troops over here. I don't think we're going to have any difficulties with this. We've almost got our claim on London, and that is going to just be game-breakingly powerful. Uh, we are going to... These guys are doing their business. They're fine. They can just chill there. Anybody else? Is that all my armies? I guess that must be all my armies. We have another 10,000, another 25,000 here, it looks like. So if we declare on these guys and we call Timbuktu in, then we can get a little bit more out of Jolof, potentially. If we don't call Timbuktu in, then we can't do anything to Jolof very effectively. So, you know what? We're gonna do it this way. It's gonna work fine. We're gonna call you back from improving relations. We're gonna set a leader in charge here. And we're going to declare on Messina for our claims. We're doing conquest. And we are going to set Jolof as co-belligerent. That will call Timbuktu into the war. 
and Timbuktu did not join. They decided, you know what? That's okay. So, uh, we need to get air out of the war if possible. Oh, Timbuktu did join the war. It just took them forever to do it, so fine. Uh, let's see. I need... I always need admin power. I should have taken diplo power, actually, because that would get me closer to my diplomats. Uh, let's see. We got the ability to... Uh, keep flirting with whales, I guess. We can't do royal marriages with them, which really hurts our ability to make them happy with us. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop out of here. And mostly gave us the stuff, which is great. So hopefully we can wipe out this army. That's a definite yes. And we can pop down here to get this other stuff done. These guys are heading over. And unfortunately, I'm now getting my territories carpet sieged because I didn't have anybody down here. Once these guys get here, hopefully that'll help. I do have strict now, which is nice. And hopefully Mosi is going to do something useful with their army. Where is the Mosi army? Where did the Mosi army go? Uh, they're not going to do something useful with their army. Okay, then. This is a rank three forge, which is unpleasant. You guys can go over here. Just gonna dive them in. We forgot to actually do this, but that's okay. We can fabricate a claim on London. And once we take control of London, we'll be in very good shape. Look at all those claims. Oh my goodness. And yearly prestige is going to be what we have to do because we don't have any other admin advisors. And we can do this, and we have a new diplomat ready for action. And Wales actually has a claim on Scotland, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to make our own claims on Scotland, though. I th uh, do we need to make claim on Scotland, actually? They're allied with France. I don't think I need to make claims on them right now. Uh, hardy seamen. Yep. Yes, indeed. We have the hardiest seamen this side of the Lusitania. And let's see. Oh, that's interesting. They're actually going to dive me here? For some reason? I don't know why. Like, they're going to outnumber me eventually, but they're going to... I mean, maybe they won't even outnumber me eventually with the way that they're playing right now. Alright, well, let's... Send three here, send three here. Send these guys straight to here. Truce of England is now ended. That was fast. Alright, well, I guess we can just declare war on England now. England still doesn't have any allies. So... We can declare for... Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury seems easy enough to take. They have 6,000 troops. We can enact a government reform, and I don't know what's going to happen when I click these buttons. Uh, I actually think I want... Just because it'll be interesting. I'm going to try doing a republic. It's kind of a crazy idea to deliberately make ourselves into a republic, but I kind of like the idea of becoming a republic. Oh, but this gives me 15 merchant guild influence, and I can't afford that right now. Uh, let's see here. Because the merchants already have so much. Do I want to reform into a monarchy, then? Or a theocracy? They've made changes to theocracies, but I don't think that reforming into a theocracy really makes a huge amount of sense. 
I think I want to reform into a republic. Just for the hell of it, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try doing this. It's going to be weird. It's going to make it really hard to get my merchants under control, though. Doing a, a republic world conquest is a very strange idea. I think I might want to just reform into kingdom. The thing that I'm curious about is I don't actually know, am I going to lose all of my stuff? Am I going to lose all? Of, like, do I get to be a kingdom that has several tiers unlocked, or do I start as a rank zero scrub? It's kind of tempting to become a horde, honestly, but... We want to become a fetishist theocracy. I'm going to do it. We're going to become a fetishist theocracy. Because why not? Why the hell not? So, we have monastic order or clerical state. Monastic order is... Heirs can be general and rulers can be generals. Fixed to duchy rank. That's not what we want. Uh, we want clerical state, I guess. Because that doesn't make us duchy. And we literally... Oh, boy. Interesting. I just got the achievement Populists in Government, apparently. Switch government type through government reforms. Huh. So, let's see here. Clergy state, legal heir, blah, blah, blah. Talented theologian... Local Preacher, gain 10 Devotion. This would give me the Merchant's Guild. What does Devotion do? I guess it doesn't do anything right now, right? So this guy's now... So I didn't lose my leader. He saves the leader. That's kind of cool. And let's see here. We've made the clergy a little bit more powerful. If I do a merchant sun, I can actually immediately... burn down one of these reforms. Oh my god! Nikolau! Holy shizen! That is amazing. Okay, so if I do this, loyalty and influence, this is loyalty and influence, loyalty and influence. This, honestly, if I can get rid of this, that would be vaguely quite useful, but I don't think I want to get rid of that. I can't get rid of indebted, so we're going to get rid of patronage of the arts. So, we've now purged off one of those. We'll get rid of the other thing automatically. Oh, African Modern Modernization is available now. So, three per oh, 20 Prestige and 3 Innovativeness. Let's click this button, get 3 Innovativeness. I'm less than one technology group. Okay, cool. So, African Modernization is done. We've now got 11 innovativeness, so this reduces all power costs by 1.1%. Not too bad. We're a bit over Thinger, which reduce, increases our advisor costs, imp reduces improved relations and corporation costs and a bunch of other stuff are penalized by that. That's very unfortunate. That means that it's going to be harder for me to take territory myself for a while. Uh, do I have the ability to deal with that in a meaningful way. I could unstate some territory if I wanted. And I could if I want. I could actually give nobility land rights. Hmm. 
which increases my governing capacity. Because I can get rid of this within the next 30 years. The problem is that can I get rid of this and this and all of this shit all at the same time? And the answer to that is I don't know. I want to get 40% control over here if possible. But I don't think that's going to be possible right now. I'll need a bigger navy to be able to accomplish that. So we've now made ourselves into a theocracy, and now we get to figure out what the fuck we're going to do with it. So we have internal mission, we have external mission, we have mission to civilize. This gives a passive bonus to native assimilation. That's pretty nice. I like that. Expulsion of the heathens is development costs. Morale of armies plus 10%. That's really good, actually. Yearly corruption reduction, that's not too bad. Army tradition, noble loyalty, equilibrium. Global trade power. I think that we would probably want maybe the, maybe this one. Let's see, secularization. So this would allow us to change to a monarchy if we wanted, or proclaim a thanger. So we can do partial secularization, that reduces the idea cost and in increases institution spread, which is pretty decent. Cl Diplomatic relations plus one, not too bad. Maximum absolutism plus 20, that is very useful, we're going to need that. Uh, disable call diet, enables parliament, disables the nobility estate. Interesting, you can have Parliament as the thingers. We're definitely going to be doing this, though, because we need the absolutism. So max promoted cultures, yearly devotion, yearly absolutism. Neither of these are that interesting to me. So, minus 25% to the war score cost versus other religions is pretty nice. So we can get plus 250 to our governing capacity. Also, now that I think about it, didn't I get courthouses available to me now? I did, didn't I? Yes. So we need to build one of these because that's going to be a pretty big deal. Okay, so this is... Does this have a bigger impact on provinces of paper or something like that? I seem to recall something like that. Because it doesn't actually say anything like that. Unfortunately, I can't see. What is, Is this state maintenance? I guess this is state maintenance that it's showing me, which is not really what I want. But that's fine. So it is prov it's the province's governing cost. It's not the state's governing cost. So that's good to know. So we're going to build one there. We should probably build one in every high dev province. So let's look at our development. I should have done this earlier, but it's not that big a deal. So we can build one in Timbuktu. We cannot build one in Timbuktu. Build anything over there for now. Okay, anything else that we want to try for now? I'm going to leave that for now. I'll leave, I'll leave that until I've got a better idea of what I want to do with it. 
Uh, we are going to send somebody to improve relations with my subject countries, which I can just leave permanently. I've got an extra one now. Uh, we have the ability to declare on England. We are already declared on England, apparently, so we're already diving London. So that's all well and good. Anything else that we need to do? Uh, we need to finish this war and get all of our business dealt with. We have conquered new states. So we don't quite have all this done yet. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to do this. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, the harsh treatment cost reduction is something that I could have used during the uh, Age of Absolutism. We are still doing fine here. We have English Separatists that just spawned. They are going to do their thing faster than I actually finish here. So we're going to leave these guys behind. And, okay. How many troops does England have? England has... this is navies. They don't actually have a navy. England has 6,000 troops somewhere. So if we leave these guys and... can send 10,000 troops. 10,000 troops is not sufficient to get this job done. We only have 20 grand, 20,000 troops here. Uh, this is status quo. We're just going to do this now, actually. So we'll punch down the Separatists. We should have probably waited for them before we declared, actually. And you guys can get this leader. And how are we doing down here? So down here, where I probably should have been paying attention to the possibility of having bad things happen, Yao is not currently at war with me, right? So Jolof is in the process of being blown up. We just won the siege here. So, whoop, that's less than optimal. To wait for a second of this to put the good general in charge here. It was silly of me to fuck around like that. Hopefully we are going to be okay. Yes, we are. So these guys are going to pull, pull back. Mostly he's doing their business over there. And we are all set. So, do we need to take this? I think we need to take this as well, so... Uh, we can give this to Fulo. Hand this over to Fulo as well. Alright, so we got these guys doing their business. These guys are retreating away to somewhere. High Priest, you've managed to convert the heretics of Sheffield. And we've got the ability to do this, and we can now continue converting. Preferably up here with the Anglicans who don't have the ability to create any more of these. Alright, so, do 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 colonial border conflict, let them sort it out, cause why the hell not? Okay, so we now pop over here, take this army out, once we've taken out this army, we can completely ignore the English army again, and let's see here, let's split this army up to deal with this. Am I at war with Katsina? No. So, Katsina I'm not at war with. I could be, though, if I wanted to be. They are allied with Hausa, and that's it. 
they're guaranteeing the independence of Noop. I have a claim on Noop. We have rebel uprisings to deal with. We have Oyo Separatists fucking around over here. Uh, what do we want to do now? Right, I do not have people doing their business. Okay, sending someone over to Wales again. Oh, never mind, we don't need to do that because we are pretty much capped out with them. Uh, I guess I can start fabricating claims on Kilwa. If I, I don't see any reason to, though. I, I'm just going to do a reconquest and try to take a pl province or two in Madagascar. Uh, you guys are fucking around over here. Oh, Portugal has a permanent claim down here now? That's interesting. So I need to be careful of weakening people too much. Uh, do I want to actually start fabricating claims on Castile? Castile is currently at war. Who are they allied with? France and Portugal and all those people. So if I declare on you, Castile will not join because they are 66-46 in debt. Oh my god. Portugal is allied with Castile, which does nothing to help them. Oh, and my truce with them ends very shortly. So... I guess what I should do for my stuff is just start improving my relations with everybody that I already got. My relations with my vassals pretty high. We've gotten that dealt with, I guess. So with that dealt with, because we can influence this nation instead of doing relations improvement. So I guess we can now start fabricating claims on people. We should probably get a claim on these guys, so let's do that now. And Congolese Mexico, how are you doing? They've cored up some of this stuff, but they still haven't finished trying to core stuff. Chickasaw we have a claim on already, so we could have... Uh... Oh, this is Congolese Mexico, though. I guess it doesn't matter, because we could declare for their claim, and then we just take it ourselves. So do we want to do this now? If I declare on you... Uh, let's wait until this, the noble rebels are dealt with. Uh, anything else that we want to do? Yes! Let's take a look over here. Do we have a claim on anybody here? Yes. Powhatan, Abenaki, and Micmac. So that gives us an in on Micmac. Do we want to do this? Abenaki won't even join. You have a rank, how, what military? Rank 11, you have rank nine, you also have rank nine. So if I do this, there's the possibility that I have to help them. And then I'll have three wars going on, which I think is going to be very dangerous because the enemies around me might decide to do something about it. Let me go ahead and click this button so that I can build some more shit. And let's build some uh, stuff here. I could build a bunch of docks up here, actually. Oh, you know what I could build? I could build trade board. Let's do this. Let's improve our trade power in this in this node. Should I do that while I'm in the middle of a war? Why not? It's fine. Is that the thing? Okay, so that's not even the right one, but oh yeah, it's okay. We're fine. Anything else we need to do? Yes, we need to figure out what we're doing with our our missionary or not missionary, whatever your name is. Alright, uh, you, we have not got a lot of improved relations with. I feel like we can go ahead and increase their trust of us. It gives us another plus three. 
And you know what? We are going to improve our relations with Mombasa. So we can convert to different religions. That's a weird idea. We're going to go ahead and ignore these. And we can continue on with our lives. Anything else that we need to do for right this second? Probably not. Truce with Portugal has ended. Yarhu, you guys uh, are supposed to be dealing with these guys, not ignoring them. So, mistakes were made. It's fine. We're going to start taking control of the territories over here. They don't actually have anywhere to go exactly. I guess they can just hang out in Essex. Okay, we have Congolese uh, Colombia now. So we're going to do what about this situation? I'm going to wait for them to get a little closer to, like, basically get out of position. Because they're heading to Chester now. This guy is going to pop into the capital to hold the siege. And these guys are now going to pop over here. And once I get this over here, we can now go wipe their army, I think. I s wasn't paying enough attention over here. So we can give this to Fulo. Give this to Fulo. And this needs to be sieged so I can give it to Fulo as well. I don't know how big of a difference it makes. Uh, we can pull you back. I do have two wars going on, important to remember. Uh, let's see here. So, do we have all this stuff given to whoever needs it? No. This is supposed to go to Fulo. And. That is... So it looks like, yeah, we can't take that right now. Do we have a claim on anything? No, we do not. So yeah, we just need to finish sitting on this thing, it looks like. We don't have any claims on Timbuktu. So we don't have to worry about them. So we just need to uh, sit on that province so that- oh, God damn it. They're going toward York, it looks like. Yes. So we're going to dive them in York. And apparently they are too damn fast. Uh, excuse you. So taking this is a core of theirs. It's tempting to do it anyway. Do I want to do this? I think I do. I'm going to just send this. It will take a little bit, but it's not a big deal. And now these guys can all consolidate together in Jun to get their business done. You guys can just pop over to... It's gonna be fine. Now then, what else are we doing? We are apparently getting our siege fucked by being dumb. So Delaware has become self-sustaining and we can keep pumping this area. Denmark is no longer a valid rival. And I can't set a new rival at war. Okay. 
Okay, we do catch them before they get out of here. Thank God. Okay, so... We are all set. Uh, we can lose 10 influence for the clergy. Lose some... We're gonna do this. Gives them loyalty and reduces their... Banger. That's the best combination humanly possible. Where are you guys going to? Gloucester? Okay, so presumably they are heading toward Cornwall. And we are going to basically wipe them when they're there. I think that their army has nowhere to go now. With me sitting here... I don't think that they can actually escape to anywhere. So they're going to go into Devon when they retreat. And when they go to Devon, I mean, assuming they retreat at all, they might get stack wiped. And now we can just head back to London. We're all set. <sighs> cool beans. So once we've got this all handled, we'll be in good shape. Uh, we no longer need to worry about how many wars we're in. Did our truce with Portugal just wear off? Was that what just happened? Yes, it did. But is Portugal relevant to my interests right now? Uh, I guess I could start taking some of these islands. I don't think I want to take any territory of theirs that's over in Europe right now. It's tempting, but I'm about to take London, and I do not want that extra aggressive expansion from Portugal. I just don't think there's much reason to get extra aggressive expansion right now. So, what does that mean for us? Uh, we could dive the Chickasaw. We don't have much reason not to go after them, I guess. We have a claim, and... Interesting, we have cores? Why do we have cores up here? So we got free cores up here somehow. I'm gonna actually do Reconquest, I think. Don't wanna do that? Are you? I'm gonna do Reconquest. I'm not entirely sure whether they have adapted or not. So let's see. We have a total of 10,000 troops on the enemy side. I don't think I need to worry about them. So Raritan has grown to become a true, full-blown colony. We can get Trenians. But yeah, these, these guys can just do their business here. It's going to be great. Superior unit types. There we go. I can impose a new tariff. I get some loyalty out of that. So that allows us to get rid of New World Charters or Land of Commerce. I think we're going to get rid of land, uh, the New world, world Charters. The New World Charters aren't that important compared to the Diplo power that I'm getting. And I now have sufficient other modifiers that are helping me out that I think I'll be fine. Interestingly enough, England is going to be a Caribbean nation soon because they are slowly but surely losing control of their business. And we have the ability to purchase another thing. 
do we want prestige? Not necessarily, but we don't really have anything else that we need, so we'll go ahead and take this because it's at least something useful. Okay, so... Paper, glass, or gems. So how's my governing capacity now? There's 601 out of 600 right now. Oh, shit. I just realized I'm planning on taking control of this province. And I have no governing capacity to govern it. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Okay, so it's time to start mass producing courthouses, it looks like. Big stuff in development. Why can't I build it? Courthouse. Let's build courthouses there. I think that this is all reasonably decent provinces, except this one apparently. You know, what, cancel this. We'll build a new one somewhere. Oh, no. You know, what, actually, I'm not going to bankrupt myself during that. We'll leave that for now. So. We're just waiting on this. This is going to tick up. We have Muska, which we have just gotten a nice province from. Okay. So we can now bring these guys over to there if we want. And I think we're going to probably want to do that soon. So where's my... They're protecting trade here. And that's getting... I have 25% with them there. So good fucking luck with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these ships. We're going to move these ships over here as well. We have 17,000 troops here. We're going to set them to uh, deal with rebels. And I think we might want to... I have two frickin' colonists that have not been sent out. I don't know how I keep doing this. I'm a talented individual. Uh, where do I want to send these guys? Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of other territory explored yet. I should probably hire a navigator. Do I have this cord now? I do. I have this cord now. Let's send these guys to... Nah, Colonial Mexico is big enough. Uh, we will send them to Canada. So we're going to expand Canada a bit more, and we can do what else? Anything else that we need to do... We have these English colonies. <laughs> Anybody that we need to declare on here? We do have Shu here. They're allied with Zapotec. Are you done coring? Functionally? Yeah, you're done coring. So we're going to do this. It's going to be great. We'll get that done. We will have this province here that we need to get some ships to bring somebody to. Who is it going to be? I could send this army. It looks like I might need another army. The problem is that I'm running low on manpower. Alternatively, I could just declare the war and see what happens. Actually, you know what I can do? I can send this army to deal with this, and then Shu and Zapotec should not be a problem. Like, these guys have a rank 7 military. Mexico, just deal with it, right? That seems like a reasonable solution to the problem. Where's Zapotec? Zapotec, 
Because over here, do they have any allies? They don't have any allies. So I'm going to declare on Shu. We will set Zapotec as co-belligerent and move on with our lives. Now that we are in three wars, which we did want to avoid, but that's fine. We're going to hopefully take control of their capital here. Let's see, if we take London, it doesn't add uh, France to the list. So that's very good to know. France will not get added to this list by taking control of London. Life is good. How are you doing, Brittany? You're not ready to become my glorious vassal. And you are not ready to become my glorious vassal either. So once this ticks, we'll be in better shape. And I should have taken admin, I guess. Let's do admin next. That'll have to be our next idea group. It's tempting to take either humanist or something else, but I feel like we should do admin. Also, I am wasting my people, so let's have them pop into noop. Get that job done. Anything else that we need? Yeah, we need a claim on Jolof. So let's build a spy network to get the claim on the last province there. And let's see here. I guess we're going to need to... Here, let's pull you guys back. Oh, right. I wasn't fabricating claims on them because they have, like, a ridiculous amount of bonuses right now. So, the Siege of London is done. We have 99% war score against England. And now it's just a matter of figuring out what the maximum we can take without pissing off the French is. Do we want to take Cornwall? I'm going to take Cornwall. Just for the hell of it. We take Cornwall. I probably can do that without causing too many problems. We're just going to give all of our claims over to Wales. So that we can see how this goes. So. If I were to try to add everything that I've got claims on. That's a hundred aggressive expansion. And it only barely puts France on the list to take all of this. Holy shit. This is no aggressive expansion at all. The British Isles are amazing. I love this. All right, so if we don't take this, does that remove France from the list? Yes, it does. So we're going to not take Shrewsbury. We're going to take 56% war scores worth of territory. And this will increase the size of Wales. And we can actually have them revoke their cores. But we can't have them revoke their cores on any of the stuff that we've got. So do we want them to concede the Caribbean? Uh, I think I'm going to have them do that, yes. Because there's really not really much reason not to. Yeah. I think we're going to do that. They have two provinces that are colonies over here. But they're not that relevant. So we'll have them concede the Caribbean to me. They're going to do all the other stuff. Nobody gives a shit about the Caribbean stuff that we're taking, so that is 34% overextension, and this is going to piss off France, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So we're taking control. We are assuming direct control over frickin' London. So London is now ours. Uh, we have the ability to core this other stuff, but that's kind of silly considering it's not going to be ours. And we are going to move you guys back here. 
and we are going to have you just do autonomous suppression of rebels in the exact spot that you're standing. So London does have a fort, which is nice. And we are going to core it ourselves. Are we going to... Do we want to turn London into a trade company? Local trade power plus 100%. Yes. This is going to be the Narrow Sea Charter. London is officially part of the glorious Congo trade company. And let's see how much money we're going to make here now. Because that's plus 100%. If I can set this as my primary trade node... Oh my god! We just ticked up to 9% of the trade here with our trade getting halved. Oh my god. We are in four Ducats here? Jeez. Jeez, that is delicious, delicious business. Okay, so what else do we need to do? We have Oyo Separatists, that's not that big a problem. We have a bunch of money going out to Colonial Maintenance that isn't going to be going out forever, we're fine on that. So let's take a look here at how things are going. Yeah, the territory take that I take from my my vassals. I think that territory makes sense for me to not set a trade company for. But I now also have the ability to start building this kind of stuff. This is gonna be great. So, so what have we done here? Has this been turned into a trade company? Like, how much of this territory is trade company territory? So the Narrow Sea Charter has been established. That means that all of these things are also part of the trade company, I think, right? No? Question mark? Is this not... No. Okay. So it doesn't automatically turn everything in the trade uh, area into that stuff, which means that I'm going to be able to uh, retain this stuff as it is right now. So at some point we'll be able to take control of more of this London charter, and that'll be great. But for right now, I think we're so it's pretty solid. So we have... The Oyo Separatists, we have Anglican Zealots trying to convert whales. We have the Cuban army here. And we are all set. So we're in two wars right now? Ah yeah, so we're up here, we've got a war going on. That is actually a pretty large army. And yes, it looks like taking anything outside of our war goal is going to cost us stuff right now. We can turn them into fetishists if we want, but that's going to take a lot more war score than we have. So we're just going to go ahead and take our cores back. I don't know how we got cores here, but we did, so I'm happy. Uh, we have Rebel Uprising and Oyo. And these guys are sitting on pretty close to 100% now. Okay, so we got Muiska here. We can go ahead and declare for this. This will allow us to take control of all this territory. And we've renewed our loans. It's fine. Chu is... Are we going to take complete control? Or are we just going to leave them with one province? Oh, France would be... What's, what's France? What? 
France. Uh, okay, so France is gonna get some aggressive expansion with them because if sort of if we do that because uh, they have colonies in the area. They've got the Floridian territory there. So we've got Dominica. I need I need to do this now. So you guys can stop fucking around here, because you're actually not doing anything very valuable anyway. So we can split off three of these, and you need to have an explorer and start actually exploring shit, because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. So uh, we can get the South Indian Ocean, Northeast Pacific... Northeast Pacific is fine. All right, protect trade in... Do we want to protect trade in the Indian Channel? No, not really. Uh, let's see, Caribbean, Brazil, Gulf of St. Lawrence. Let's protect trade in the Ivory Coast, because that prevents more money from going toward Sevilla. We can strangle their economy. And this explorer is going to do their shit eventually. <laughs> okay, it is now about noon. So I think once we finish... So what can we buy here? We can buy this because some extra trade power. Because plus five to naval force limit, land force limit, trade steering, but I don't do that. Yearly army tradition increased. Do I want to do this? That's pretty expensive for what it is for right now. We're going to save off. So I think I'm going to basically finish up these wars. Let's see also. I can't take that because it's not currently under my control. So we have Anglican Zealots here, we have English Army, we have Welsh Peasants to deal with. And she wants to peace out, and I'm like, you know, I would love to peace out with you, but I need to finish sieging this first. There we go. So, if we take this, I don't know that... Yeah, I don't think that France even knows about the nation over there. So France will be added to the list from this. If I don't take this, or do they care? Yeah, this other nation they don't even know exists. So, I could just not take this, and that doesn't add um, France to the list. And these guys are completely landlocked, so there's no way for anybody else to get control of that. So there we go. All done. So Shu still exists. They're going to go ahead and fight their former allies. It's going to be great. Uh, and we're all set. And apparently Fulo has got their army chilling here as well. So, we've finished that war. Uh, we still have a little ways to go on this other war. We have some rebels that are going to be causing problems soon. And how are we on this? We need rank 17 to get an extra boost. Uh, yikes. Uh, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and execute the official. Unfortunately, that means that our devotion is really low. 
But it looks like that isn't that important as that. The devotion thing is kind of unimportant. So, we're currently sitting on this province. We will have it soon. And once we've taken that, we will be... Uh, let's see, let's do this. Expedient versus, like, overall gain. I'd much rather have more stuff. It looks like Scotland is now fighting against England. Which is pretty awesome. So Brittany is not ready to become my vassal. They're not even close. And it looks like we this is a capital fort, so... We're not going to be able to do this until we actually siege down another fort that I didn't realize existed. Poop. <laughs> looks like Cuba's building more of an army now. We've got Portuguese Louisiana claiming this. The Creek are expanding pretty effectively for themselves. We've got the Micmac and Powhatan thing going on over here. Do we want... Yes. We're going to start sending our fleet, which should have... Yes. Here's my Carrix, and here's my flagship. So we're going to send everybody to deal with this situation here. So next uh, stream, we're going to be able to send all of our troops that are in the colonial region anywhere else in the colonial region very effectively, and that'll be great. We can also send them to help with Kilwa if we desire. That's next year. So next year we'll have access to going in on Kilwa. For now, I'm basically just waiting for this to siege down, and then we'll end once we've done that. So, uh, did we do the exploration that we wanted to do? I'm gonna... oh. Did I finish? I think I finished one of the British colonies, so now I have income again. Alright, how are we doing here? We got... Nope. Which we need a... 30 thing to get. Apparently I have a claim on two of their provinces. Okay, so once I get the claim on the third province, I'll be able to use that. They are allied with Timbuktu and Yao. So, I guess I can start fabricating claims on Timbuktu. Once I get both claims on Timbuktu, then I can actually just declare this war and we'll take all of this. Uh, and we actually already have a claim on the only thing we could get a claim on in Yao. How long is this going to last? Oh, but, now that I think about it, we're actually going over our governing capacity limit. Is that that big a deal, though? I don't know that it is. I don't know how important that's going to be for us right now. I think we've probably reached the point. Are you guys... Oh, you aren't even... Aggroed on that. So, we now have 100% with them. We can pull you back. And we can peace out. I think we took out their whole army, so there shouldn't be any Separatists spawning off of this. And we have mostly Particularists. Is that... 2,000 troops. 
Unfortunately, the OU Separatists spawn one tile away from where we want them to, but that's okay. So, we're now going to be basically just conquering the entire new world, uh, just piece by piece. We should be able to sort of just dive into a lot of these places. Uh, is any of this in Colombia? I'm wondering if we want to just core up a few provinces so that we can start going through here. The issue right now is that Castile is actually... Uh, going a little crazy over there. Castile is actually doing what I usually do, uh, which is just dive in there with claims and call it a day. Uh, we've got... Anything else that we need to do? I think not. I think we're set. So I think we're ready for right now to end the stream here. We've made some pretty good progress. We finally did what we said we were going to do, which is take Cornwall. Um, England is pretty much about to see stop existing. It looks like Brittany is increasing its size, and they are actually not too big for me to annex this way, technically speaking. So if I can get my, my economic base high enough, I still hypothetically could do this, but I need to prevent them from expanding any further if I'm going to do that. So we'll see how that goes. I'll need to figure out like what I would need to actually accomplish this. I do have a pretty solid amount of Diplo reputation. I think I've got a penalty right now. Do I have a penalty? Do I have the annexing vassal penalty? It looks like it might not anymore. The, the annexing vassal penalty might have gone away. So, uh, but we can get the... I think it's trading in ivory, which gives me Diplo uh, reputation. Uh, we can purge off our overextension, which is currently hurting our... Uh, thinger. And of course, as we finish up our current idea group, once we finish this up, we will actually have, uh, where are you? Right here, we'll have plus two from this as well. I think each of those is, I think, I think each one is like three points of reason toward doing it. So I'm actually going to, uh, spend some favors before I forget. So we're getting the trust up really high now. 43 of this is from distance between borders. So that means that these guys are about 12 away right now. The, the issue is the wrong religious group and the government rank. Uh, but actually, I should be pretty close to being able to, yeah. Once I get over a thousand here, I should be able to declare myself an empire, which will help me in a lot of different ways. So I'll be able to do that soon. We actually, I'm su kind of surprised we don't have over a thousand development already. But we've currently got 900 development of our own. We've got 645 development that is currently controlled by our Thingers. I wonder if our governing capacity goes up when we... Yes, governing capacity should go up as we do this. So we just need 100 more development, and we'll be able to actually increase our governing capacity again as well, which should be pretty cool. So that's going to be it for today. So uh, thank you everyone for watching. It's been a pleasure streaming for you today, and I hope to see you again tomorrow when we will hopefully raise some money for charity. <laughs>